the these three tapes I got from eBay during the last week, and these two finally arrived um, a few days ago in the mail after waiting for a long time. This first one's a rare tape. This is a magnetic video tape. Finally got myself another magnet magnetic video tape for my collection. This one was a bid auction, which I won. This is an Ac Africo Embassy Pictures movie. It's a full model from Unknown Video Store. This next tape's brand new seal, which I'm going to open up on camera. This is originally purchased from Borders Books, which is no longer in business. But I got this off eBay. It has the Paramount Great Movies Great Price sticker on it. When I get done with this video, I'm going to try to put the sticker on the on this box because it looks really cool with it. Still has the 75th anniversary label on it. The second week of 1991. And this last week's this tape for this update is a Touchstone demo tape. I used to have the... the or the actual VHS release of this movie, but got rid of it, but now I got the demo tape of this movie. This is my second Touchdown Home Video demo tape that comes in this slipcover case. The other one I have is Green Card. And this one had shrink wrap on the box, but it was open from the bottom, so this was brand, so this was like new. July 18th, Night Time 1, and July 16th, Night Time 1. This next DVD, and this next DVD I got is a DVD, this DVD, next, this next DVD I got from Amazon, um, a week ago. And this one's a replacement copy because the, the old copy I have, which I got in 2013, was Seen Better Days. So, so I get a brand new copy of this movie.
the neck and the next eight and the last and the last eight DVDs for this update are are eight DVDs that I got from gameplay on Friday night. This is the Toy Story Fox re-release re of this movie from 2003. This movie was from Dino De Laurentiis, Dino De Laurentiis Entertainment Group. I think this might be the last Universal film to feature the Nighttime 7 Universal logo before they switched with before they switched to the current Universal logo starting with the Lorax. Columbia Pictures movie. This is a Focus Features movie. This is a fumeral from Blockbuster. Here's the last DVD for the subject, which is a Universal Western Collection series. And here's some and here's some pretty cool. This this actually comes with a um
has a poster of for the movie and has 2008 on the copyright date so I guess this DVD was purchased somewhere in 2008 even though this DVD is originally from 2004 so it's pretty cool Now let's get on to the Blu-rays in which the first three are Blu-rays that I got from Amazon last week. I have the first two Men in Black movies on DVD. Now I have the third film on Blu-ray. And I might try to get the new Men in Black movie which came out in 2019 on Blu-ray someday. Columbia Pictures movie. The disc says the DV says disc two on there for some on for some odd reason. This is back when Sony used to put artwork on their Blu-ray. Cases well, had this movie on VHS by side, get this movie on Blu ray, and this is the 2020 um, Paramount Home Entertainment re release of this movie because Paramount has the home video, has, has just bought the home video rights to some of Merrimax's titles on DVD and Blu-ray. The digital copy expires on September 22nd, 2022. And I did check the open this Blu-ray, and this Blu-ray disc still has the same master as the Lionsgate Blu-ray because this this has the Lionsgate logo at the beginning. And this last one I got from Amazon is a Paramount Presents Blu-ray collection series. My first Paramount Presents Blu-ray series I have. Had this on VHS, but the VHS was kind of damaged so I had to get rid of it but now I got a replacement copy which is the new Paramount Presents Blu-ray series this is side number this is um number three in the collection And lastly, these last two Blu-rays are Blu-rays that I got at Gameplay on Friday night. Here's the last 
blue I have for this update. This, this movie's from Ted Turner Pictures, released by Warner Brothers. I think this was the only film to be made by Ted Turner Pictures. This, this is the extended cut, which is 280 minutes, which is 4 hours and 40 minutes. So this is a very long film. And the Blu-ray disc says it's the movie. This And looking up, this... This extended cut was originally released in in a digi in a Blu-ray digi book digi book with a Blu-ray and DVD, but I'm okay with this version because that one's probably out of print. And lastly, here are two laser discs I have laser discs which I have for this update, which both of these I got from eBay. Both of these are rare ones. This one was brand new seal I bought. It, this was only $5 with shipping. So yeah, a magnet video laser disc that I got for brand that I got brand new for a good price. This is an app this is an Abaco Embassy Pictures movie. Even though it has magnetic video on the box and label, um, this Laserdisc actually has the 20th Century Fox video logo at the beginning. So this is a 20th Century Fox video reprint, but that's okay with me. And the other Laserdisc I got for this update is an MCA Disco Vision Laserdisc for the Great Waldo Pepper. This is my third MCA Disco Vision laser disc I have. The other two are the last remake of Bo Geese and the Four Seasons, which are Universal films, and this is also a Universal film. And that's it for my VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, and laser disc update for for sep. For September 5th, 2021. Hope you guys like this video and see you guys later.